Hi guys, it's Lime Stark and today we're looking at erosion, weathering and deposition and how rivers shape the land. So first you have to know that weathering is different to erosion even though it is very similar. So erosion is the wearing away and removal of rocks by the action of water, wind and ice. Whereas weathering is the breaking up of rocks by the action of weather, plants and animals and chemical processes. So the difference is, is that um, in erosion, um, this wears away and transports rocks, whereas um, weathering just wears away rocks. So of, the, um, of erosion, there are four different types. You can have abrasion, also known as corrasion. So abrasion is fragments of rocks are carried by a river, wear away the bed and banks of the river. So this is basically, you can imagine stones being chucked against the side of a bank, wearing it away, wearing it away. That's basically what abrasion is. Attrition is pebbles and rocks collide with each other, reducing their size and making them increasingly smooth. So this is where you can imagine, uh, if you watch another one of my videos, which is about how the earth is um, formed, is a bit like that, where they're crashing together. And in that, this meteor is crashing together. In this, it's the rocks crashing together and reducing in size. Um, hydraulic action is the power of moving water being forced against riverbanks, causing them to collapse and be washed away. So this is like the water is crashing against the riverbanks and just wearing it away, wearing it away, wearing it away. And finally, corrosion or solution is chemical reaction, uh, uh, is where a chemical reaction uh, occurs with slightly acidic water and this dissolves calcium, breaking down rocks such as limestone. So of course, there are four different ways that you can that er erosion can happen. Now, after erosion happens, the um, it has to be uh, deposited and this is uh, or transported. So the ways that rivers transport material is as a bed load, a suspended load, or in a solution. So there are again four ways that they um, that these things can be transported. So firstly, this you can have traction. So this is where larger particles like pebbles and boulders roll and slide along the, the riverbed. Then there is um, saltation, which is another a bed load way. These are both bed loads, by the way. Um, and this is saltation is where large particles such as gravel and coarse sand are lifted and dropped across the river so that they bounce along the riverbed. So basically, they're just bouncing across the riverbed. Yeah. And then suspension is this is a suspended load. And this is where smaller particles such as clay, silt and fine sand are carried along without contact with the riverbed. Materials carried in suspension usually form the greatest parts of a riverbed. So if you know in, in Nile and Egypt, lots of the rocks are carried by suspension and they ultimately formed a delta. And at the moment, Egypt is increasing in size because of this, these deltas coming along of all the, um, of all the little, little rocks inside which can be just carried along by the um, river without contact to the riverbed. And then finally, there's solution. This is a bit like, um, this is a bit, this is very, this is very similar to um, solution in the first place um, in the erosion sense, but this is dissolved materials containing minerals like calcium and sodium. And that's just being carried along. If you, you, you can't actually see it with the naked eye. So these are all the ways that you can, the, shape the land to come what it is and we'll go into more detail in other videos about waterfalls, oxbow lakes, um, uh, interlocking spurs, uh, v-shaped valleys, all of these things but for now goodbye and thanks for watching. Oh and also can you please watch, um, can you please visit my website that's www.imstuckrevision.tk lots of amazing videos and quizzes so please check that out. Thank you and bye.